Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can export your Webflow code and I'm also going to show you how you can host it online on a different site. So there's a few reasons on why someone might export Webflow code and host it elsewhere. They could want to save money on hosting fees. Webflow does offer a variety of hosting plans but they can be quite expensive especially for businesses with high traffic websites. So by exporting the code and having it on a cheaper platform businesses can save a lot of money on hosting fees. There's also a few other reasons such as to have more control over their website due to Webflow's terms and of service. You could do it to use a different CMS because Webflow uses its own CMS which may not be the best fit for all businesses. And also you may just want to sell your website templates. If you've created a great website of Webflow you can export the code and sell it as a template to other businesses. So let's jump into it. I'm going to show you how you can export your code and host it elsewhere right now. So to start with you first want to be on the Webflow dashboard like I am here. And just click on the site where you want to export the code. So I'm just going to choose this one for the sake of the video. Now exporting the code is very easy. You simply just go up to the top right corner and look for these and look for this icon here, which is in between this green tick mark and the share button. And if you hover over it, as you can see, it says export code. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And here's where we can actually export our code. But be aware, you do need to have a paid plan for this. Because otherwise, if you were able to do this on a free plan, you could just take these templates and host it somewhere else for absolutely free. So obviously, you have to pay the monthly fee first in order to be able to do this. So that is fair enough. But the way to actually download it would be to be on this HTML bit. And then obviously down here, it says upgrade plan for me. But if you do already have a plan, it will say export to zip file or something like that. So you just want to go ahead and do that and just download the HTML into a zip. And then once you've done that, you can head over to this website called tiny.host and it has got two eyes. So feel free to pause the video if you need to take note of this URL. But what you have to do is basically just upload that zip file into here. So you can either just drag it in or you can click this upload file. And then once you've done that, you just want to name it. So just say, we can say my website for the name. You can also have it on a private mode as well. So if it's not yet ready and you don't want people visiting your site, you can tick that box to make it private. And you can edit all those things about your site. And then when you're ready, you can officially launch it to the public. And then once you've done that, you'll have successfully taken the code from your Webflow website and hosted it on a different platform. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to do that. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.